Here today to make sure that everything's nice and peaceful, but we will meet anger with anger, simple as that. I'm here because I'm English. I purely came here in defence of the realm. Suella Braverman has said exactly what the majority of people in this country are thinking. It's, you know, they, they didn't have to have on this. We have one weekend, they have sacred things, we have sacred things. It's, it's a good, good to get together and, and peacefully assert our, our rights. Like we've heard on the news and the media, they've called people far right EDL. If you look around, I don't see too many bad looking people here today. Well, And there's groups coming from every area and angle. I think it is it is potentially disrespectful. If it goes off peacefully or well and good, but if there's a, a small uh, faction within that that are intent on causing uh, problems, then that is um, that, that's unacceptable. So, and you've got boys now all, 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 all turning up to to deter that, so if it kicks off, it's on their hands, put it that way. Right, now I'm not about, hopefully it's a nice peaceful, they walk past, walk that way, and nothing happens, happy days. But if it doesn't, then so be it. The police officers that I've met and spoke to this morning, they've been sound. They know we're not here to cause trouble. And we've, I even told them myself, amongst us the English, we've already put words out to ourselves, anyone that's causing trouble or caught drinking on the streets, we're going to police our own crowd. We're going to have no covered faces, just the word that's gone out, but whether it happens is a different thing. I've seen people here drinking and have, with covered faces. Yeah, well then they need to be moved on. And that, that's just an English point of view. Um, I came here as well because um, uh, Tommy Robinson put the call out for us to defend memorials, defend statues from uh, far left and Islamic uh, marches across London. I'm quite concerned about um, the attacks on some of the statues and and the um, and the fact that English people feel uncomfortable getting out an England flag in our capital city. Come to pay my respects, um, as I as I do every every year. Um, do Armistice Day and Remembrance and Remembrance Sunday. Whatever day Armistice Day Armistice Day falls on, we always make an effort to effort to come up here anyway. What do you think of Sarah Braverman, Charlie? Sarah Braverman. Hmm. I think she's saying all the right things. Really? I think she's just, I think she's trying to play to the audience. Uh, I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. Really? No, oh, hell no. Hell no. I think she's, mm -mm. she's as well, devious I, as the rest I, of them. I, I respected her and I had doubts about her up until the Conservative Party conference. And I was expecting her to speak out and say that we need to leave the ECHR, the European Convention on Human Rights, so that we can deport illegal migrants and she did not say that and so to me she's a, a traitor to this country who occasionally says the right things. We wouldn't have to be here if this protest was banned, point blank. Don't get me wrong, I'm a free speech activist. Even if it upsets me, I'm going to let you say what you got to say but there's free speech has limits and today should have been cancelled, full stop. Why, why should today have been cancelled? This is a national heritage, this is a remembrance for everyone that's part of the British Empire. This ain't a white thing either. We've got plenty of coloured Commonwealth soldiers that have fought and died for this country. So this isn't just about the English, this is about a national identity. And we're in crisis right now. I think they have every right to protest, but common sense dictates they don't do it today. I see Suella Braverman's comments and it just shows you that what she said speaks truth to power. Because the whole of the establishment's come against her, even her own people. Uh, today, obviously, is particularly, uh, particularly important with the uh, Palestinian march that's going on. Why is that so important then? Um, well, you know, it's, I think it's incredibly disrespectful, although, I, you know, I, 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 I support their right to march, 
Um, I think it, it, they should have said themselves, we're not going to do it, out of respect, which, which they haven't done. I know the chances of, of there being any kind of um, conflict is going to be pretty low, I mean, bearing in mind. But, you know, they're only walking half a mile away from here. But, you know, we, we're, we're here to show our support for our, for, for our soldiers, showing that they're not forgotten. Well, you see, the last few weeks you've had black shahadas, Taliban and ISIS flags marching down the road. The police have done nothing. You've had Hezbollah, Hamas flags, police have done nothing. You've got them openly chanting for genocide, nothing. Now, if me and other groups that were here were to walk down the road and chant stuff in the opposite, we'd be labelled, we'd be arrested, we'd be thrown in jail. It's a two-tier policing system and that's what we're upset about. Are you concerned about the Palestine march? Uh, I'm concerned if they if they go off the. For me, it should have happened today. It's a one weekend where they should, and if they've got plenty of opportunities to cancel it, they should have cancelled it, done it next weekend. And, and for me, it's a bit disrespectful. From what we've seen over the last four or five weeks, the police don't have control, and I don't think it's that they don't want to. I think their hands are being tied by certain people, high ranks in the police. You know, I've I've done this for for a very long time. And I've seen it myself, you know, always go soft, black light, whether it's Black Lives Matter, Extinction Rebellion, whatever. But, you know, you have a, a right wing protest or what's deemed to be a right wing protest. It seems that the, what, what is right wing these days is just, ma is just mainstream thinking anyway. What do you make of the way the police has dealt with this? I, I, um, I think it's a bit... Uh, it's a bit sloppy, mate, to be fair. I think if I was to lift up an England flag now, I'll get jumped on. If they, they walk through the flags on, it's OK. So, I'm, I'm, you know, it's a bit wishy-washy as far as I'm concerned. That's the reason why a lot of people have turned up to take it into their own hands. It's, it's, all, it's all jackboots and bullying when it comes to anything that's not left-wing. When it is left-wing, it's very, uh, very hands-off. You know, they'll stand there, they'll allow them to sing songs which ordinarily get you arrested. We're not here to cause trouble unless someone else caused trouble but it seems like we do get the sort of the sharp end of the stick when it comes to like oh well they're, they're, they're far right and that i'm not you know, far right about me i'm just here you know, i was here last time with the black lives matter with the ripped the statue down i don't care about black white or silver i'm here to protect the statue because it's, you know, it's, it's a sacred to our country simple as that now this remember it's weekend remember sunday armistice day exactly the same thing so if we're protesting you've got to treat us with the same respect as you treat them i just want it all to go peacefully today let them, let them have their walk, you know, just don't come near us.